you all in. Um, just a uh, little comment. So it, it's uh, it's kind of unique, uh, you know, coming in to, uh, you know, two abbots, two lamas do prostrations at the same time. I asked Gishla to do that years ago because I want to emphasize that um, what we're doing here is a, a team effort. So, you know, uh, that um, uh, the Dharma and the teaching uh, is always a team effort that teachers teach together, right? And that um, the uh, important um, piece to get is you want, you want to get the Dharma, right? So you want to emphasize. So, of course, um, we put um, a very strong emphasis on on the teacher because we we're very strong individuals and each one needs things adjusted skillfully and uh, people need feedback. So of course, in particularly Vajrayana tradition, there's a strong emphasis on, on guru yoga. Um, but uh, still the point is to see uh, the Dharmakaya, right? To see Dharmata, things as they are, um, because seeing things as they are is what totally liberates. So in our tradition, you know, we say, you know, the, the refuge has to be, of course, the Dharma, even though the teacher is, is essential. So uh, Gishla um, um, has time now that he's back um, from Guto to teach a course on uh, Guru Yoga starting 25th, right? Yeah, so in uh, just a couple of weeks, uh, Thursday nights. So he's going to be um, available like every other. So the other Thursdays, of course, Jen and, and Patty will be here all the time, but then, you know, meditating when he's not here, but also meditating afterwards. So starting at six o'clock and then you know, maybe Geshe will have finished maybe in an hour and then having meditation afterwards, right? So that's a very full, a very full practice and a very uh, special opportunity. Um, and uh, then, uh, we have like a, a new tanka here with um, beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the you know to help with the uh, you know we're doing uh, uh, Lama Naljor in the center, Lama Sankapa, and all the uh, different lineages. So Geshe will explain this. Um, <clears throat> And then uh, this next coming May, uh, Wednesday the 29th, um, uh, Ling Rinpoche uh, will be here um, just for one night only <laughs> to teach on um, uh, Manjushri teachings. <clears throat> and uh, we're requiring people to sign up. So... Um, I think people probably don't don't know Ling Rimshe, but Ling, this present Ling Rimshe is the uh, Tolku of the Dalai Lama's tutor in his past. You know, so um, the Dalai Lama holds him in a special esteem, and it's a great honor to have Ling Rimshe here. So we're going to extra um, to work on Ling Rimshe's uh, visit um, like that. So we're going to be painting things and. Uh, spiffing things up and one of the things that we have to do is um we're starting to develop the the garden area and um we've hired a designer and we have a builder and um, we're we're starting on that so that we can have an outdoor uh, platform and pavilion to give outdoor teachings and to flatten the grassy area so people can sit out there and um, create have badminton <laughs> and have kids there. Um, so uh, I want to get going on that, and I'm I'm trying to raise money for that. It's it's an expensive project, um, but uh, if people are uh, feeling particularly flush because you've already paid your taxes, right? So that's all done. I know you're not flush after taxes, but actually, I need to raise money to to make that happen, the garden project to open it up to the community, right? 
So it's essential that we share Dharma, not among ourselves, but our, our healing, uh, uplifting environment for the community so that we can have um, things like expressions here, we can have uh, picnics, we can um, have talks outside, we can have badminton, things like that. Because many people are um, a little scared to come into uh, a temple that looks different, right? But uh, if we have like uh, events outside, then they won't be scared to come, right? So. Uh, I'll be around the rest of the day, and then uh, please come, because I need to raise maybe just in the next, uh, mm, by tomorrow, maybe $4,000. So I wanted to do announcements now, because I know sometimes after a ceremony you do announcements, people are already out the door, right? So let's get my agenda out there. Um, now we can do uh, start with uh, prayer. So okay, Daddy, no, no, no text. Yeah, oh, okay, text for Geshla. No, yeah. Does he want to text the prayers? Oh, okay, okay, good. Yeah, that's okay. So Okay, let's start. Okay. Praise the Shakyamuni Buddha. Teacher, for destroying, bless God, fully and perfectly awakened Buddha, endowed with knowledge and good conduct, gone to bliss, know of the world, has no ordinary beings to be tamed. Supreme One, teacher of all gods and men, Buddha, for destroyer, glorious victorious one, Shakyamuni, to you and pay homage, make offerings, and go for refuge. Teacher, pro destroyer, thus God, holy and perfectly awakened Buddha, endowed with knowledge and good conduct, gone to bliss, know of the world, houndsman, will many beings to be tamed. Supreme One, teacher of all gods and men, Buddha, pro destroyer, glorious victorious one, Shakyamuni, to you I pay homage, make offerings, and go for refuge. Teacher, pro destroyer, thus God, fully and perfectly awakened Buddha, Endowed with knowledge and good conduct, gone to bliss, know of the world, helmsman of all men beings to be tamed, supreme one, teacher of all gods and men, Buddha, full destroyer, glorious victorious one, Shakyamuni, to you I pay homage, make offerings, and go for refuge. When you achieve the king's you took seven steps on this great earth, and you said, I am supreme in this world. To you, realize at that time, I prostrate. Completely pure body, supremely fine form, ocean of wisdom like a golden mountain, bang that blazes in the three worlds, the supreme protector to you I prostrate. Endowed with the supreme marks, a face like a stainless stream, a color like gold, to you I pay homage. The three worlds are not like you, it's free from dust, matchless one, endowed with knowledge, to you I prostrate. Protector endowed with great compassion. Omniscient teacher, feel the devotion like merits and good qualities. To the thus gone, I prostrate. Through purity, free from attachment, through virtues, you release us from the evil gone realms, unique, supreme, alternate meaning. To the dawn that brings peace, I prostrate. From freedom, teaching the path, well abiding in pure trainings, holy feeling endowed with good qualities. To the Sangha also, I prostrate. Homage to the Supreme Buddha. Homage to the Dharma Refuge, homage to the Great Sangha, to all three, every vow homage. For all respect, bowing with bodies as many as all realms, atoms, and aspects, with supreme faith, I pay homage. Do not commit any non virtuous action, accumulate virtue and goodness, subdue your own mind. This is the teaching of the Buddha. Like a star in a range of lamp, oceans, drops of dew, bubbles, dreams, lightning, clouds, look at all conditions and all such. Due to this merit, having attained the state of the all seen and thereby subduing the enemies of fault, may I liberate migrators from the ocean of existence, stirred by the waves of aging, sickness, and death. Um, Ciao.
I take refuge in the Guru, I take refuge in the Buddha, I take refuge in the Dharma, I take refuge in the Sangha. I take refuge in the Guru, I take refuge in the Buddha, I take refuge in the Dharma, I take refuge in the Sangha. I take refuge in the enlightenment in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. By the positive potential of the Buddha, by listening to the Dharma, we have to benefit our sentient beings. May all sentient beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. May all sentient beings be free of suffering and the causes of suffering. May all sentient beings be inseparable from the joy of happiness that is free from suffering. May all sentient beings abide in equanimity, free from some close and others distant. Respectfully, I prostrate with my body, speech, and mind. I present clouds of every type of offering actually imagined. I confess all my negative actions accumulated since beginning this time, and rejoice in the virtuous actions of all ordinary and noble beings. Please do we may as our God and turn it until Samsara ends. We may be created by myself and others, may the two worthy chances be given, and for the sake of all of the sentient beings. This offering I make of a precious jewel of mandala, together with other pure offerings and wealth, which is collected throughout the three times with my body, speech, and mind. All my masters, my yidams, and the three precious jewels, I offer all to you with unwavering faith. Accepting these out of your compassion, please send forth waves of your blessings. Even Guru me. Ascertaining the natural state of the threefold knowledge and practicing the key points of the four applications, one arrives perfectly at the ultimate fruition, Dharmakaya. Another of the Buddhas of the three times, to you I pray. Profound, basic space, Dharmakaya, mother beyond attachment, manifests perfectly as the wisdom nature of clear realization. This advises the disciples' perception in wrathful guise. Exalt your Kandakar, look upon me with compassion. Pray for dance of emanation, bring benefit to beings who fulfill the aspirations of the great Panditas of India and appear to Tibetans in female human form. Inspire me with your blessings. I prostrate to the earlier Triple Gem. Thus did I hear at one time the Bhagavan was dwelling on Mount Savalcha's mountain on the Jagriha together with a great community of monks and a great community of bodhisattvas. At that time, the Bhagavan was absorbed in the concentrations on the category of phenomenon called profound perception. Also at that time, the Bodhisattva and Mahasattva and the Kiteshwara worked upon the very practice of the profound perfection of wisdom, and we had those five aggregates also as empty of inherent nature. Then, through the power of Buddha, the Venerable Shariputra said this to the Bodhisattva Mahasattva Arya Avadukateshvara, how should any son of a lineage train who wishes to act to the profound perfection of wisdom? He said that, and the Bodhisattva Mahasattva Arya Avadukateshvara said this to the Venerable Shariputra. 
Shariputra and his son of the lineage or daughter of the lineage who wishes to practice the activity of the profound perfection of wisdom should look upon it like this correctly and repeatedly beholding those five aggregates also as empty of inherent nature. Form is empty, emptiness is form. Yeah. Emptiness is not other than form. Form is also not other than emptiness. In the same way, feeling, discrimination, composition of factors, and consciousness are empty. Shariputra, likewise, all phenomena are emptiness, without characteristic, unproduced, unceased, stainless, not without stain, not deficient, not fulfilled. Shariputra, though for in emptiness, there is no form, no feeling, no discrimination, no composition of factors, no consciousness, no eye, no ear, no nose, no tongue, no body, no mind, no visual form, no sound, no odor, no taste, no object of touch, and no phenomenon. There is no eye element, and so on, and up to and including no mind element, no moment of consciousness element. There is no ignorance, no extinction of ignorance, and so on, and up to and including no aging and death, and no extinction of aging and death. Similarly, there is no suffering, origination, cessation, and power. There is no exalted wisdom, no attainment, and also no non-attainment. Shariputra, therefore, because there is no attainment, the bodhisattvas rely on and dwell in the perfection of wisdom, the mind without obscuration and without fear. Having completely passed beyond error, they reach the end point of nirvana. All the Buddhas who dwell in the three times also manifestly, completely awaken to unsurpassable, perfect, complete, enlightenment and reliance on the perfection of wisdom. Therefore, the mantra of the perfection of wisdom, the mantra of great knowledge, the unsurpassed mantra, the mantra equal to the unequaled, the mantra that thoroughly pacifies all suffering, should be known as the truth, since it is not false. The mantra of the perfection of wisdom is declared Tatam Gate Gate Paragate Parasangate Bodhi Soha. Parata, gate, gate, paragate, parasangate, bodhisoha. Shariputra, bodhisattva, mahasattva should train in a profound perfection of wisdom like that. Then the Bhagavan arose from that concentration and commended the bodhisattva, mahasattva, Arya Avadukiteshvara, saying, Well said, well said, son of the lineage, it is like that, it is like that. One should practice the profound perfection of wisdom just as you have indicated. Even the Tathagatas rejoice. The Bhagavan, having thus spoken, the Venerable Sharivadi Putra, the Bodhisattva, Mahamsattva, and Kateshwara, those surrounding the entirety, along with the world of gods, humans, Ashuras, and Gandharvas, were overjoyed and highly praised that spoken by the Bhagavan. To fulfill the needs of all beings at their various levels of understanding, we request that you turn the wheel of Dhamma, including the lesser and greater, common and extraordinary approaches. Yeah, thank you. They put a lot of work into this book, didn't they? Yeah. It looks good. <laughs> yeah, you know, so uh, you're reading off with uh, all new pictures and uh, all new in the book. <clears throat> So I'd like to make uh, one other uh, announcement. Um, uh, next Saturday, um, I'm delighted that uh, uh, Mike Heffel will be back with Kirtan, correct? So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, um, Ajana sometimes is called Mantriana. Um, uh, mantra sometimes Translate is protecting the mind, but also sometimes as a spell. So it's the sound and the meaning and the action uh, and the 
uh, aspiration all come together at once. And um, I'm really happy that Mike um, has time and, and uh, uh, has, has put, you know, kept uh, the Kirtan group together. So, you know, so personally working with Mike is always easy, very flexible. I'm a very difficult person. I'll say, oh, I can only meet at this time. And they'll go, yeah, I can meet. So really salute to you. You know, it's fantastic. So today um, we're doing two things. We're um, uh, having uh, people come up who uh, have uh, decided to enter the path as we're calling it. And I need to give a little history. Um, myself and several of my senior students a few years ago thought that um, people uh, might want to take refuge, but they're not quite ready yet. Um, or they're, they haven't investigated enough, but we, uh, but we saw them as uh, serious um, investigators, right? People that were contributing to um, the center, contributing to the temple, and um, were dedicated in their practices. So I want to recognize that um, some people, too, uh, don't uh, come in here and uh, participating and doing really good meditation and helping out, but um, uh, don't have to do it from a religious point of view. Um, that they can um, they can see uh, that uh, the truth uh, without uh, having to say I have to believe in that or have to believe in this. So uh, we came up with uh, the entering the path. Sometimes in uh, early Dharma. Uh, in Anna practice, they call you know entering the stream, right? So entering the path means you you get it that this here, but you still want to investigate before you you make a uh, pledge or commitment, um, because when we do refuge in our tradition, um, you know uh, we're also committing to um, the inner training and ethics. We're we're taking the five precepts. <clears throat> which um, for some people, there's always one that's the most difficult. <laughs> so I'll just out myself, you know, the most difficult one is always um, speech, right? You know, generally not, not outwardly breaking the other ones, but speech is tricky, isn't it? So, um, and particularly in the Sangha, you know, when people take refuge, uh, I said, Please, please take the precept against using intoxicants, right? You know, um, you know, and we know what that means, you know. And for most people, it's alcohol or weed, or sometimes it's even worse. But um, I've noticed that when people have taken the precepts uh, and they're following them, their meditation improves and their results improve, and the quality and harmony of the sangha improve. Um, so. Uh, but that's a big step. So if somebody says, I, I love Buddhism, but I, I just want to have one glass of wine or something, I say, why don't you do entering the path? We're not going to give you precepts, and you're, you still get to explore, right? And you don't have to say, I'm Buddhist, and 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 then you don't have to do everything Geshe and I say. <laughs> so um, fortunately, Geshe will, you know, with the Lama Chopa and the Lama Naljo, the Guru Yoga, really talk what it is, um, you know, to have a, a genuine teacher that knows you and you know the teacher. So, um, you know, I'm just delighted that um, Yeshu Damshala has been um, here teaching for um, these many years now, right? Make a deep commitment to um, Donna Darge and Lion's Roar, a deep commit to Zana Bazaar. So um, I was look up to him and think, okay, could I could I go to Mongolia and the Star Temple? <laughs> <laughs> but I told Geshe, I'd like to go to Mongolia. Um, he has his citizenship now, and after get house built in the Northwest and uh, make that pledge, okay? I'd like to do that. I feel I've had a past life there, and um, and it just feels easy. So I, I'm pledging to go in front of you all. So uh, uh, we have three people, I think, that are, uh, or four people that are um, 
uh, entering the path. So uh, I want I want them to come up and um, so I can just give them a little certificate. But um, would uh, would it be okay if you said a little bit about like um, what your experience here has been or what you want to do? Alex's eyes just got real big. <laughs> or if you want to say thank you or something like, but you know, uh, would that be okay to think about that? Um, uh, so, you know, like, um, uh, very good. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll move along. <laughs> All right, shut up, get going. Um, so, um, a few of these people I know really well, but uh, one I don't know as well is Eli here. Yeah, so we just said hi. So, um, so you need to come up and meet uh, me and Geshla. So, are you, are you able to stand up, or are your legs falling asleep? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How about right now? <laughs> So even with doing something from a secular point of view, it's always nice to show appreciation and show preciousness. So um, yeah, so you're very good at holding the kata like and coming up. So oh, it's not your first radio. Okay. So and then I'll present back and also want you to present to Geshe Damchala too, also. Yeah. It shows gar Dharma is a gift exchange. Yeah, so uh, we, uh, there's some core values with um, entering the path, and I'll read them out. It says, welcome to Lions Row, where we learn to enrich our lives, exploring new practices and ideas without rejecting where we came from. And essentials, community, becoming involved in our community and the community around us. Discipline, making commitments to the practices of meditation, health, and well being. Transparency, showing our authentic selves, opening up to vulnerability to support each other and relate with one another. Service, helping others in many ways. So, a reminder, and now you get to give your speech. Mm -hmm. Here's who I am, and why am I here? <laughs> Testing one, two, three. Always want to do that. Um, okay, so for those of you who do not know me, I am Eli. I have been coming here since October. First class was with Bill, so I appreciate Bill and Steve that is entering the path tonight. Thank you guys, I appreciate that. Um, my journey started overseas in India and that's when I started to somewhat get familiar with Buddhism it came to me one time staring at the ocean and I just felt like I needed to get in this so I took some courses over there and I came here not expecting to find anything like this over here in the states but maybe I wasn't looking for that at that time but now I am and um Ended up finding it on Google Maps, and that's when I showed up for the first class with Bill and Steve. And uh, ever since then, I try and come at least four to five days a week, and it's been amazing. I'm super thankful and grateful to to find this place in the middle of Sacramento, which I'm born and raised and didn't think I can find anything like this. So um, every day is a, is, is a new day, and every day is a new opportunity and growth. Uh, especially meditating here. I just, there's some sense of energy in this room. And I think we've all noticed that when we come here and we meditate here, there's just some energy that is surrounding this place. And um, again, like I said, I'm just super thankful that I found it and everyone that has been teaching here. Uh, I've learned so much from each and every one of you guys here. And I am super thankful for that as well. Um, and somehow the universe wanted me to be right here at this exact moment, at this exact time. So that's all I got to say. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Appreciate you. How <laughs> oh, good.
Eric, you're ready to go, man. You're, you're just ready to go. Got it. So, okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's sent to Geshla too. Thank you so much. And here's for you too. And now your speech. We want to hear. We want to know everything now. <laughs> so I came here about seven years ago, uh, looking for meditation in the evening, and I found all this, <laughs> and, and all of you. And I'm just grateful to be a part of the sangha. Thank you. Thanks, Eric. Good to get it over with. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do this thing. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. well, talk as much or as little as you want. I'm Steve, and uh, it's nice to see a lot of familiar faces. I have been here for uh, seven or eight years. I followed Mike Hetfield over here for uh, Coten, and uh, I don't think I've ever left. Uh, I, I really liked uh, what we were doing that the, on those sessions with Coten, and I highly recommend you coming and seeing him next week. Um, and I've really enjoyed uh, meeting some of you people. I just want to acknowledge publicly that uh, a lot of you mean a lot to me and uh, my meditation teachers uh, that I've had, um, you know, as you can tell, I've really gotten a lot out of this, and I think I've had some growth in the process. So, thank you all. I'd like to thank you, Steve, for your service too, and um, you know, like you know, lo just loving the plants and loving the building and the energy you bring, and just your sense of humor, actually. <laughs> yeah, so keep coming. Thank you. That's Alex. Hi. Thank you. Good. Say as much as you want. Hi there. Um, I'm Hi. Alex. I've been here um, about a year and a half now, pretty consistently. I think I may have done this before entering the path, but here I am again, uh, just publicly announcing my commitment to being here for myself and the community. Um, I really came here looking to find more of the truth, as Lama likes to say, and to wake up um, to myself and what's going on in the world. It's been a huge change in my life to be able to uh, have a safe space and a safe community to explore and to expand my capacity for the community that I serve, which is often a community in crisis. So I need the space to be able to explore and have that truth for me. So I appreciate every piece of the community that comes together here because it does bring a very fascinating and uplifting energy and that's really helpful for my own personal practice so yeah i appreciate all the space yeah, thank you. okay Oh, it's so nice to see you, Patsy. 
Thank you. I know you got, we want to know about you. It was time for me to move on. And, uh, and I feel like this is the end, see an older person. I feel like this is the end place for me. And I'm really happy. And I love the Wednesday night beginners group. We have so much fun here. So thank you very much. Thank you. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. any yeah. last minute pathers i was think i think like like ending path could be a little bit like um you know baptist church like hell you know wants to come on but um you know with with uh with refuge uh you know, I I really want people to be prepared and uh, to have some idea of what they're doing, right? So, uh, in our tradition, um, we we believe that um, people need to know what they're doing, uh, and even though their their leaps uh, and uh, challenges, we're still going to tell you a little bit where you're going to leap to. So, uh, doing. Uh, you know, highest yoga tantra practice can be challenging uh, and does a leap, but, you know, it's still like on a mountain where we're saying, you know, just, you just got to jump up another two feet and grab that, you know, but we're going to tell you, you have to, where it is and you're going to have to grab it. So, um, you know, we, we want to see everybody succeed. So uh, the Buddha said, you know, the Buddhas don't uh, uh, transfer realizations, right? They cannot heal by laying on of hands, right? You, they don't wash away karma with water. They just teach, right? So that's the wonderful thing about our tradition, um, you know, particularly, uh, you know, uh, here in this temple, we want to just teach. So the people taking refuge, I feel, you know, uh, have, have, have learned enough. So, um, when they complain a little bit, I can say, well, we told you so, you knew. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. So we uh, we we read through what I call the refuge sadhana, and then the people will come up. So that should be on the, um, the screens too, right? How are you doing back there, Dylan? So, so, yeah. You let me know if I'm moving too fast. Okay. Is it is it up? Okay. Visualize your father on your right side and your mother on your left. Surrounding you, imagine the innumerable sentient beings of the six realms. Realize that all sentient beings are your kind mothers of past and future lives, and that they suffer just as you do. Then generate deep compassion for them and think, I must attain the high state of Buddhahood in order to help all these beings. Now that you have produced a special virtuous mind, visualize the field of assembly. Imagine the vast sky before you, a jeweled throne, which is high and wide, supported by eight great lions. Upon it is a cushion that is a mandala of multicolored lotus, moon, and sun. Seated upon this is your only teacher appearing as Shakyamuni Buddha. His body is the color of purified gold, and he has a crown protuberance upon his head. His right hand is touching the earth, and his left is in the gesture of meditative equipoise. Upon it is a begging bowl filled with the nectar of blessings. His body is beautifully covered with the three saffron-colored religious robes of a monk. He sits cross-legged in the middle of an aura of light. In his heart is Vajradhara Buddha, and in Vajradhara's heart is a blue home, radiating light. Behind Shakyamuni Buddha is another lion throne with a cushioning of lotus, moon, and sun. 
upon which Vajradhara is seated, surrounded by teachers belonging to the lineage of the blessing of practice. On Shakyamuni Buddha's right is Maitreya, surrounded by teachers in their lineage of extensive deeds. And on his left is Manjushri, surrounded by teachers in their lineage of perfect view. In front of Shakyamuni Buddha sits your gracious root teacher, just as you see him when receiving his teachings. He is surrounded by the teachers with whom you have a religious connection, those in direct lineage from Buddha down to your own root teacher. Encircling them are first the assemblies of Buddha devas, and then in turn the Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, self enlightened ones, heroes, heroes, heroines, protectors of the Dharma, and other wisdom deities. In front of each, on a jeweled stand, their own religious teachings appear as volumes of scripture whose nature is light. Inconceivable manifestations of each of the assembly radiate to the ten directions, subduing all sentient beings according to their capacities. Envision that the entire assembly is gazing at you with great joy. Next recite, I go for refuge to the Buddha. Sincerely reciting this prayer causes streams of nectar to flow forth from the bodies of all the Buddhas, including Vajradhara and others. As these streams enter the bodies and minds of yourself and all other beings, they purify everyone from all defilements. After considering that the blessings of the body, speech, and mind of the Buddhas have entered you and all others think, we have come under the protection of the Buddhas, then recite, I go for refuge to the Dharma. Sincerely reciting this prayer causes streams of nectar to flow forth from the scriptures. As these streams enter the bodies and minds of yourself and all others, they purify everyone from all defilements. After considering that the blessings of the Dharma have entered you and others, we have come under the protection of Dharma. Then recite, I go for refuge to the Sangha. <clears throat> Sincerely reciting this prayer causes streams of nectar to flow forth from the bodies of the assemblage of wisdom beings, protectors of the Dharma, heroes, heroines, self-enlightened ones, heroes, and bodhisattvas. All these streams enter the body and minds of yourself and all others. They purify everyone from all the defilements. After considering that the blessings of the Sangha have entered you and all others think, we have all come under the protection of the Sangha. All the objects of refuge then say, we are your protectors, refuge and allies, ready to deliver you from the suffering of cyclic existence. As they recite this clearly, promising to help you rejoice. Thus, with deep prayer and with tears pouring forth from your eyes and the hairs of your body standing at end, go for refuge. After you've gone for refuge in this way, go for refuge to conjoining it with generation of the altruistic aspiration for enlightenment. Just as a warrior in a fierce battle wishes to protect not only himself, but also his relatives and friends, so you should chiefly think the needs of sentient beings. Recite, I go for refuge and tell enlightenment to Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. Sincerely reciting this prayer causes streams of nectar to flow forth from the bodies of all the members, the field of assembly. As these streams enter the bodies and minds of yourself and all others and purify everyone from all defilements, the bodies of all are transformed into pure, clear light. All merit, lifespan, and all knowledge of both aspects of the Dharma are expanded and increased in everyone. Think, the blessing of the three jewels have entered myself and all others. Now meditate deeply on generating the altruistic aspiration for enlightenment. A duplicate form of Shakyamuni Buddha enters your body and you become Shakyamuni Buddha. Rays of light emanate from your transformed body and strike all sentient beings who have all been your mother and father, purifying them of their defilements and alleviating their suffering. Visualize the mantra in a circle around your heart and recite, Tayata Om Muni Muni Maha Muni Soha.
I had oh, money, 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 oh, money, 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 think I'm establishing them in the high state of Shakyamuni Buddha. Now, because we're taking refuge, uh, we're reciting the precepts together. So we say, having taken refuge, we pledge to uphold the five precepts in order to support our Dharma practice and the Dharma practice of others. We take the five precepts. I undertake the precept of refraining from killing. I undertake the precept of refraining from stealing. I undertake the precept of refraining from lying. I undertake the precept of refraining from sexual misconduct. I undertake the precept of refraining from alcohol. I acknowledge each and every misdeed. I rejoice in the virtue of living beings. I hold in my mind the thought of enlightenment in the Buddha. To Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until enlightenment in order to fully accomplish the purposes of others. I will generate the aspiration for enlightenment. At the end of the session, envision a ray of light radiating from Shakyamuni Buddha. Shakyamuni Buddha then melts into the space between your two eyebrows. Imagine you have received the blessings of all the field of assembly. Rest in meditation. Can we do one minute? After generating this superior aspiration, I will cherish all sentient beings and perform the beautiful highest deeds of enlightenment. May I achieve Buddhahood to help sentient beings. So I'd like to ask um, Yeshi Damshala to address the people taking refuge in the pathers, if that would be helpful. Is that okay? <laughs> Say a few words. Yeah. That's... <laughs> Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Oh, thank you to do welcome to the refuge ceremony. Yeah, Lama now talk and very good talk to Sama. What's <laughs> actually now? I now last year in going to India and uh, maybe one year, one year radio pass, right? Yeah. Yeah. Last year, this year, one year, 12 months. One month, no, no, one year, 12 months. One, uh, one year, 12 months. One month, 30 days. One day, 24 hours. Very fast. This one actually is a very, very change life. Very fast. Mm -hmm. These are, we are thinking, it's changing, changing all those. We are talking to those emptiness, right? Yeah. The we are very long time, uh, Lama Bear take to reports in this ceremony. Reports in actually in five precepts. Five precepts. Very important. One life. We are in one life. Five precepts we are taking in reports. We are in Dharma practice. Today is a very happy, good day. Thank you very much. This one, three person, this uh, reports. Reposition and actually this place and good and taking lamas and good and time today is very good day. Oh, we are actually uh, 
almost the rapid person in on the water we are practicing and learn learn to breathe now part actually the part right part in and jumping and jumping and jumping right and first in beginning is studying after tourism level after to Christian, after the last is going to Buddhahood. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's where oh, one day we are in, in mind, a very good a practitioner, in bodhicitta, bodhisattva, and studying. Uh, one day, and now as Buddha said, we are oh, karmas, no cleaning, no wash. Right? Mm -hmm. We are one day, no study. We, we, are, we are needed to time. Right, very slow and going, studying in every, every day, maybe every week, and one year. And parts and actually meaning, part meaning actually is in a, a level. First, we are in, in learning and beginning, and after one, two, three, four, four, five part. And Buddha Dharma is four and part. First, in accumulation. In seeing, meditated, no learning, this time, this parts and action actually is lots of learning, learning after we are in Buddha. This time, your example, right? In, in middle school, in high school, in 12 years after we are in graduate, right? The same in part is we are going and going and jump up. Oh, Refuge in actually is we are in all a lot perhaps and and so one day one day one day so just right yeah so just one day perceives this one in actually as we we are in full moon when fifty in eight maybe saga tower and perceives in one day uh, and now it's in five perceives when all whole life it's very we are Buddhist person, very important and perceptions. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, Kashla. So I yeah, okay. So um people are going to come up and um uh, make offering and um this is uh you know uh uh sacred time where uh I ask them, do you know what you're doing? <laughs> and then uh, in Buddhism, it's always been uh, a kind of a ritual to when you're leaving one form of identity or life to um, uh, cut your hair a little bit, right? So I'll say, may, may I cut your hair like a little bit like that? Um, uh, and um, next time, uh, uh, we'll have refuge maybe, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe this summer or the fall, because I notice that sometimes people get inspired when, they, you know, they see, so, uh, we will do it again, but I think next time, um, I've been threatening to do this, but then, uh, um, with, uh, my administrative help, I will have people, uh, do a short essay, okay, like that. So for those pathers that might want to do um, uh, uh, essay uh, or think about it, I'll give you have some time, okay? Like. <clears throat> so the first person on the list is Jerry, you're up. Oh, my God. 
one give to Geshla and I'll retrieve that from the bowl. <laughs> that one goes there. Okay, yeah, good. And offer kata to Geshla too. And yeah. So come back. Do you know what you're doing? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. Uh -huh. Taking refuge. Taking refuge. Yeah. Being happy about it. Good. Okay. May I cut your hair as a symbol? Yeah. Very good. Ah. So at this point, um, <laughs> There you are. So this is, please keep this. This is the date of when you took refuge for myself and Geshla and the Sangha. And uh, uh, I thought the name Deshi Samten would be good for you. So knowledge or wisdom is you're sharing something's meditation so now you have to do a lot of meditation you ready yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> and and please great yeshla because he has he has he wants to know your name too and give you a blessing yeah. for your name also yeah thank you today is you uh use refuge tag and where you give to is in dharma name Dharma name and Ishi something. Yeah. Ishi some days and some days and actually and Tibetan name and uh, translate to and meditation and samat shamata. Shamata. Yeah. Shamata single font meditation. It's very good. Good name, right? Maybe you use and now as practice and learn something every day and you have time, a little bit, very calm down, peaceful and meditate. Thank you. Yeah. It's just someday. Yeah. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> you today is in your name change. Yeah. Uh, your haircut. Mm -hmm. Uh, today is in five perceptions. Yeah, <laughs> very happy. Good day. Yeah. Yeah. I think she said, say right in the body chariot this Dharma text. Oh, we are. Uh, Maybe we are in hundred years in the leap, right? And 19, 19 years, ninety-nine years he is in Dharma a practitioner, and after die, I'm very happy. Right? Now it's until you and after a long life leap to Dharma practitioner. Yeah. Thank you, Shisamba. <laughs> All right, you may sit down. <laughs> <laughs> you promised me I wouldn't have to talk. Yeah, you don't have to talk in this one. Yeah, you're off the hook. Yeah. <laughs> so the the name's important because the name symbolizes a shift in identity, right? So uh with um our practice, uh what, what do we, we we say we're aiming toward the truth, um, which is broadly what we're aiming toward, but we have to identify uh, our misperceived self, right? So what gets us in trouble is, you know, like belief in, the Buddha said, belief in Atman, belief in a permanent self existing from its own side. So 
uh, we, we can have a lot of um, warmth and compassion and not knowledge about things, but we have to develop the knowledge seeing, you know, emptiness of phenomena and emptiness of self. Isn't that true? For some people, it's easier to see maybe emptiness of self than emptiness of phenomena. But for most people, they can easily see, oh, of course, chair is empty, it's made of parts, it won't exist. But when we come to look at ourselves, we feel like we're eternal, don't you think? And we feel we own ourselves. Isn't that so? So it takes a lot of work to uh, shift our identity uh, to a more realistic identity. And so we don't say, okay, um, I'm just, you know, this uh, enduring individual. So the Dharma name is really important to point us in that direction, isn't it so? Like that. So um, we'll see what the next name brings. Hmm. Uh, uh, Sharla. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what you're doing? I do. Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> May I cut your hair as a symbol? Yeah, good. Mm. So, um, I did a lot of meditation on this actually. So, um, and this, but sometimes they take a long time, but this one just popped up for me. Ishi Gakil. Gakil is like bliss wheel. So, uh, that seems to fit, you know, the bliss wheel is like uh, the Vajra of Tai Chi, like it has red, white, and blue, sometimes yellow, and you see it at the center of drums sometimes but it also is, is part of uh, our yoga tradition. So very energetic. But I'd like to see what Geshla has to say. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Was it What? Ah, like the wheel, like... Oh. Uh, you know, a uh, bliss wheel that turns with their colors, like in the center of the drum. Um, yeah, like that. Yeah. Thank you. It's a little different name. Yeah, different name. A different, little different name. Uh, five channel, right? Five channel is in here, intro, and then it's... And then it comes down to... Yeah. Five yeah. Five yeah. yeah. That's maybe this one is in Tantra way. Yeah. Uh, five channel, right? Yeah. Five channel, first, second, third, yeah. and fourth. And actually, it's in uh, Tantra way. It's a meditated uh, and a very important is energy channel and wind and drops and the three uh, important we are yeah. and uh, meditated. And the highest yoga Tantra maybe is very uh, we are believed to is your name. And uh, actually, in the, and Tantra way in a five channel and going down, going down a circle to his meditate, very hard and meditated. 
this first uh, today is I think so there was sutra and tantra yeah and meditate yeah yeah, yeah. and she is in the actually since samatha meditate yeah you tantra way vajrayana and daya Beko. yeah yeah, yeah. it's a good name a very very good connect right <laughs> thank you yeah. <laughs> Hi, Deb, you're on. You're on. stuff yeah <laughs> so uh another special name yeshi pamo pamo in turn means heroin like yeah. a her heroin yeah so a very very good name for you so be a dharma heroin right yeshi. yeshi means like knowledge deep knowledge deep wisdom yeah so um so yeshi knows a lot about being a hero and a heroine you know, it's important. A vira, you know, a, mm -hmm. like a heroine, a hero. Oh, yeah, Palmo's a hero. Yeah, Pal oh, yeah Palmo. Palmo. Yeah. Ishi Palmo. Ishi yeah. is an actually is in lineage, right? Mm -hmm. Order is coming, transmission is coming, coming in, and uh, this 2000 before year, and Buddha is in, he uh, is in Tektun and Repuj and per uh, Percepts, many in lineage going to. And now until in is 2024, right? Is in India, Tibet, Tibet to again India, India to is in now all world. And Lamala is teaching in Ishi, uh, this cancer in Bichina, yeah. right? Yeah. This in, is before in uh, Lamala is in Percepts. And now in Ishi uh, Jimpa. You after Lamala give to in lineage and give to in all the people and and issues in lineage and mm -hmm. uh, until in this day now this time issues in actually in knowledge knowledge good knowledge power motion and very powerful very strong you're strong now is very strong your practitioner and uh, uh, practitioner and uh, practitioner mm -hmm. thank you isn't Deb. Your dad is very, very, very old and and friend. 
before to many years you came sometime you come today you coming thank you very much yeah now also maybe you you get too many years and check up oh yeah hi yeah this year is no next year you are next year <laughs> well, until 24 you are right? yeah. <laughs> so, thank you now so very very happy you are very precepts and our oh, buddhist mm -hmm. are very important and precepts now until your life and very powerful and again, your next turn, and again, you're going to be very powerful, your body, speech, your mind. Yeah. Every day you practice. Maybe even then one month, Om Mani Bhameham. Om Mani Bhameham, we are very helpful, and long life, and good body, and good, uh, and uh, bodhisattva, and mind. Thank you. Ishi Palm. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. Yay, thank yeah. God. Um, you want to say one thing? Okay. The two things. Uh -huh. Good. Stand over here so you, you have the microphone. Yeah. You don't want the thing. No, they can hear me. No, they hear me. Oh, oh. The things I want to say is um, today I'm full of joy. Mm -hmm. And my heart is very open. And um, I want to thank you for that in many ways. You know, I tell you, give me your best shot. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you do. And, and I really do thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And I thank um, Patty. And I thank little Miss Jen over there. They've helped me along this path and have befriended me and many others have and I appreciate you and I thank you. That's it. <laughs> well, I mean, to close, but I um, wanted to mention a few things. Um, some people may have noticed that uh, some people are wearing like a uh, a uh, white cotton or silk uh, zen, it's called, you know. Um, the history of that is um, uh, when uh, uh, my root teacher died in 1998, um, uh, Chodron Rinpoche was very kind, took me under his wing, so to speak, and um, very helpful. Um, also very strict. <laughs> and uh, uh, I said, you know, I'm starting to give refuge to people. You know, he said, okay, you can do that. Um, and, uh, you know, but not they're not monastic. So we talked and uh, the idea was that uh, wearing uh, the white sand is like a reminder that you're on retreat, right? So, um, uh, this goes back to like uh, Mila Repa. Um, and, uh, you know, the interesting thing about the, uh, this, the white cotton Zen, of course, is you, you, uh, you, you, you have the memory like, okay, I've either got to, either I've got to do a retreat or I'm on retreat, something like that. So, um, you know, that's important. So, uh, you know, I'm delighted some people are wearing. Uh, so I always think of Chodron Rinpoche when I think that, I'm like, oh, that's nice. So the first time was uh, when we had um, uh, Vidya Samadja, um at Sechen Ling. That was many years ago. So um, I'm hoping that, you know, uh, we can have Vidya Samadja here. So um, what do you think? It's good. Yeah, because yeah, um, uh, you could give some teachings on Vidya <laughs> <laughs> but really fresh, right? <laughs> so usually, you know, you know, you know mostly do as much as so. So really, so much as my action is very high. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we'll, we'll uh, maybe chat around. Yes, yeah, the chat around with you is uh, empowerment, high uh, yoga tantra, and teaching, and guru samaja is very important. Yes, yes, yes. all main. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So in the Vidya Samaja is they talk about the five Buddha families. I'm mm -hmm. very usually 
we're trying to talk about five Buddha families and um, so we use mantra like a secret, a secret assembly, right? In English, secret. So um, Lama Tsongkhapa uh, did a lot of extensive writing mm -hmm. on Buddhist Maja, so uh, the teachings are very clear. Um, so, you know, maybe just put that out there for Japa Rinpoche, but also after an impairment and, um, you, you know, you still like, okay, great, you know, now what do I do? You still need tons of teaching. So I, I, I'd like to hear, you know, just formally, um, this can be small, but smallly and formally ask uh, Geshe Damchala in the future to, you know, after Jada Rinpoche to give some explanation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's simple, but you know, like actually hearing, you know, like Chodron Rinpoche was very good at also making things very scholar, but making things very simple. Mm -hmm. So it, um, I'm, I've noticed Geshe Damshla, you know, you can tell he's able to take uh, the essence and make it very simple. I'm being very American. You'd never do this in Tibet. You can't do this, say it like this. <laughs> it's not polite. But, uh, you know, in America, we have to sometimes say so people know. They don't know. You know, they, they don't know what, how the tradition works. So I'm just showing you kind of the back of the brocade. So, of course, Geshe has done a lot of training and has, um, you know, volunteered to help so much. Um, so, uh, with teaching on Lama Chopa and, you know, teachings in the future. So um, teachers want to be used, right? Yeah, teachers, you know, we teach so that we we can be of use. So, you know, we'll, we'll practice together. Make it easy. All right, so let's do closing. Well, can you request that we, we're getting there? We're getting there, Dylan. Dylan, can I have a mic? Okay, there we go. Uh, Lama, can I request that we do a cuddle line after this? Oh, okay, sure. Thank you. Due to the merits of these virtuous actions, may I quickly attain a state of a Guru Buddha and lead all living beings without exception into that enlightened state. May the supreme jewel bodhicitta that has not arisen arise and grow and may that which has arisen not diminish, but increase more and more. In the land encircled by snow mountains, you are the source of all happiness and good. All powerful Chenrezi Tenzin Jato, please remain until samsara ends. May the teachings of the Buddha flourish. And may the upholders of the teachings remain forever. May all migrators achieve happiness, and may they fulfill all their temporary and ultimate goals. Losong, magical display of the deep awareness of all the victorious ones, Merciful giver, a stream of profound and vast instructions to the fortunate migrators, please remain always unperishing, unchanging, unfading. Alo Kateshvara, great treasure of obstacles compassion. Manjushri, master of flawless wisdom. Vajrapani, discover the entire host of Maras. Songkhapa, come to the snowland sages. Losantrapa, I make request such a holy fate. you can come to you and replace your own shield. Safe life service now. Safe life dot com.
Thank you, man. Thank you for your energy. Uh, 
Thank you so much, Geshla. Yeah, thank you, everyone. So, um, Omo Araya Pazayana Indi Om Araya Pazana Indi Om 